Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Time for a video again. Well today's video, what I'm gonna do is uh, a bit of an update on the uh, Thomas Sickler Asfraki. And uh, also what I'd like to do is show you my, da my uh, Jaguar Cichlids and my Red Tiger Motos, because they're, they're doing nicely as well. But mainly it's to do with the Asfraki. How, how I've, I've moved them and how they're getting on now, like. So, uh, so without further ado, let's get on it! Right, we're starting off the uh, Thomas Sickler Asraki update in front of this tank. Well, this tank is where the, uh, the last update was done, and they had lots of fry in the tank. But it didn't work out too successful, because this, this room where this aquarium is situated is my guest room. And uh, every time we have people round, look at all them fr Jaguar fry. Yeah, every time we have people round, we've got chil uh, children and that come round. The, uh, the Asraki got really, really, really spooked. I had hundreds of fry, but uh, after guests have stayed round, uh, most of them disappeared. I reckon the uh, parents probably ate them to uh, absorb the nutrition and that for the next morning. Anyway... So uh, I've decided, with this being a busy area, I've got to put an aggressive fish in here. So I've chose my Jaguars, Beryl! Yeah, because uh, if you have guests in here, in, in this spare room, look at all them fry, there's thousands and thousands. Can you count them? Let's have a competition. Count how many uh, Jaguars there, and I'll give you... Uh, <laughs> I'll give you a, a hundred pound if you get it correct. <laughs> anyway, joking, joking aside, like. So wh where is he at? I'm waffling. I forgot what I was talking about. Yeah, so this is my spare room. So what I need... So these Jaguars are going to uh, do a lot better in here because they're not so bothered if people are rushing about... If people are rushing in and out... Like children and uh, whatever rushing about, they're not bothered. All they're gonna do is a, is a, attack the glass, trying to pr protect the fry. But uh, the Thomas Sickler are not quite like that. When they was in here with the cloud, look at look at the size of that cloud of fry. I can't even see. That's a snowstorm, isn't it? I can't even see Beryl, the big male. Yeah, I'm derailed again. Where was I? Yeah, so uh, the Thomas Sickler is not as brave as uh, these parachromas. So uh, I've decided to move them out to the fish room. And I'll, let's get out there and have a look. And we'll have another... I'll have a little waffle. Yeah, right, I'm out here in the fish room now. Like, but before we look at the Asfraki, I just wanted to... Uh, Look at these uh, red tiger motos. The parachromas, the so, same as the species, same genus as the jaguars. And these are done the same. They've got hundreds and hundreds of fry. That's the male, and there's the female. So, like, I, I, I just love... I've said it many, many times before. We all say it, don't we? There's nothing better to see a nice pair of uh, bonded... Because these fish are absolutely evil with one another. Absolutely evil. But there's nothing better sight to see a nice ponded bear, pair, bear, a nice ponded, bonded, I'm getting tongue twisted, a nice pon, bonded pair of uh, aggressive cichlids with a bunch of fry. Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Now, Oh, I'm derailed. I can't remember what I was talking about. I'm talking about the Asfraki. Yeah, the Asfraki 
we're in the my guest room as I've probably repeated myself but us as fish keepers we know when you approach a tank you approach it I'm, I'm shouting now they're hiding you approach it with caution it doesn't matter how big and aggressive the fish is they can all spook they can all spook even even uh, wolfish spooks from time to time so uh yeah, so uh, the Asraki in the tank where guests are in and out, in and out, in and out did not work. So they're out here in the fish room and have had an absolute transformation. A transformation. Well, take a, a quick look at them. Uh, the colour doesn't look as well because the lights uh, are not so well in my fish room. But we'll have a look at them and we'll uh, see if we can do a bit of feeding. And waffle on a bit more. I'm going on too much, aren't I? Yes, sir. Uh, here we are at the uh, Asraki tank. The coloration of these fish uh, don't look quite as good as what. Not not quite as good. Nowhere near as good as what I had when I had them up in the house. The uh, which to, obviously it's to do with the lighting, like. But uh, the tr uh, transformation of these are so brave now. Well, well uh, let me get some pellets in my hand and uh, give, them some, give one or two pellets. Come on, Tom. Come on, Tom and Silla. There we go, like. I can, I can nearly hand feed them. Because when they're in the guest bedroom, this is rubbish uh, photography, but, yeah, when they're in the guest bedroom, uh they were like ping pong balls. If someone walked in there fast, they would like shoot up and down the tank, 100 mile an hour, just bashing off the glass. And I didn't like that. I didn't like that one bit. The male's looking a bit better there, isn't it? So I think this is a better environment for them. They're getting quite interactive with me. And uh, yeah, I think they're doing a lot better. I've had another spawn in, but uh, that one uh, didn't work out as well, as well as the first one, but no doubt I'll get another one shortly. I'll just let them munch them pellets down, and I'll show you how they react to uh, a bit some earthworms. I love him, Tom. Tom and Silla. Right, they've uh, they've had the pellets in there a lot. Look at this lot. How interactive. Yeah, I would never believe I could do this with the uh, Tom Sickler. But look at them. They love these. This is an earthworm. They cannot resist an earthworm. I'm going to put it in the top of the tank. They do, but they have bitten me quite a few times. The colour and the photography's rubbish. Come on, Tom. There they go, look. They're tugging on it. It actually bit me then. Yeah, I can put my hand in and ouch, ouch! It's actually bite. Ouch! Do you see that? Let's get that on for. There, he's biting me. So like these are like these are, are turning out to be. Uh, let's get back a bit so we can actually see them. These are being turning out to be quite quite nice interactive pet fish, as long as you keep them in a, a quiet environment, without bloody kids, and. Uh, <laughs> Adults, to be honest, well, I ain't got a scooby dooby dooby about how to keep a fish. But I'll pause you, I'll let them eat that, and we'll do it again. Yeah, they've, they've, they've hit that one down. Let's, let's have a try another one. I just love it when they do this. But, like, the, the, like I said, my photography's uh, not the best. And the, uh, look at her, look at the female. She's, she's beautiful, isn't she? Silla! Come on, Tom! Tom and Silla. Well, put this in the end. They're gonna, they're gonna nag that. It's like a lag, laggy band. Oh, there they go. Look, chewing on it. Like, ouch! It, it's got some sharp gnashes. Very interactive wet pet. But I believe all Central American cichlids, if you uh, keep them in the right environment, you could turn them all into wet pets. The coloration, I've just repeated myself, the coloration in this aquarium is absolutely garbage because it's in my fish room 
and it does not do these uh, fish justice. I'll give them one more worm and then we, uh, we'll give them some pellets. I do believe if, a, if your fish will eat treats like worms and then take pellets afterwards, that is absolutely stunning. Brilliant. Come on down, mate. We might be able to get a, a better shot of you. But uh, they're turning out absolutely stunning. Right, I'm going to put another worm. I'm going to put my hand in this time. Quite deep. There we go, lot. Lot feet. Lot, he's got the whole lot. Ouch. The females, eat. I'm going to stroke them. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm really sorry about the photography, but like... A fish that bites a hand that feeds them. Look at him. Come on, Tom, mate. Yeah, like, so, what a transformation. Come on, mate. Ow, she's doing it. He loves it. They've got little tiny uh, sharp teeth. They're mostly a uh, veggie sort of uh, diet. But, like, the colours are showing up rubbish, rubbish in this aquarium because it's in my little fish room. But I'm not bothered because what's more important, the fish to... Uh, to be happy, I don't want them spooked all time in my uh, in my spare bedroom. Anyway, I'll just give them a five minutes and we'll put some pellets in. I always think it's a good sign if they'll eat pellets after treats. There they come, lot. Ow, it's too it. They're taking pellets. Taking pellets from my hand. And they're the sort of fish I really, really like. If you're a regular follower of my channel, I like really uh, interactive fish. I like the my jaguars and uh, dove eyes, you know, like red devils, all them interactive fish. But these can be interactive fish if they're brought up in the right manner. Can we see some colours on him? See if we can get a bit of focus on it. It's turning out absolute stunning. Don't I'm not waffling on too much. It, I like a, I've been on the beer. I've been on the beer. As as you probably all know, when I get waffling on, he's been on the beer again, ain't he? Let's put this on port. No, I won't put it on pause. I'll get some more pellets. Here we go, look. Look, they're, take, they're taking them from me hand. Tom and Sil Silla, ask Fracky. Right, my, ne my next video ought to be a video about removing this divider. This is uh, my favourite uh, red morph dove eyes. Uh, coral, she's looking absolutely beautiful. I always say it's coral because she looks like a, a clownfish. Coral. We don't have a name for this one. Anyway, uh, yeah, he's beautiful. He's beautiful, he is. I need to remove this divider. I've had it in for, uh, I thought, bloody hell, it's probably been in there for like about six, eight weeks. I don't know how long it's been in there. Absolute for, it's been a long time. So I need to get it out and we'll video it and we'll see what happens. Be nice if they get on and we can have a spawn in. Shut up, waffling was. Wrap it up. Right, we're back here in front of Wolfie's tank. Yeah, cause it's time to wrap this one up now. I think I've uh, waffled on uh, for far too long, like. So, yeah, the Asraki are doing well. And the next video, I'm going to be taking that divider out of the uh, Red Morph Dovi. And I just hope they get on as well as Wolfie. Come on, Wolfie, he's gone right up the other end. Come back down here. Let's have a look at you and see how big you are, mate. Yeah, so I'm going to be taking that divider out of the red morph dovi, and hopefully they'll get on as well as what Wolfie does with his female. They've lived together for 10 years now, and uh, they, have, they have the odd tiff light, but uh, let's just hope the red morphs get on as well. So um, uh, at this point, I just want to thank all the subscribers and all my followers. Thank you for the support, and uh, thank you for watching. So uh, until next time, say goodbye to Wolfie. And ta -ra!